Hey friends, so today is the first day for my internship, one of the three, and um, for internal reasons, it had to be converted to virtual, so I am in my home office, um, and I am really excited to see if um, they will assign me anything today or if it's gonna be a short day, I'm not sure. So my um, onboarding with like paperwork and stuff is still happening at 10.30, um, but I am scheduled to work until three. So I was anticipating, um, you know, getting like a tour of the studio and obviously the onboarding, like all the procedures and processes, um, and then being handed something to either test my skills, like it might they might not use it, or to be like, go ahead and like, they give me some uh, files and stuff to work. Um, so I believe I will be start, uh, like I will start doing some post-production stuff. Obviously I can't do production like film crew at home. Um, it's possible they might want to kind of like test my creative aptitude by giving me some pre-production, like plan out this, or let's see your schedule for that. Like, I'm not exactly sure what to expect my first day now that it is virtual. So it's going to be really exciting. I will share what I can. Like I said, um, I'm hopeful in this onboarding, all of the paperwork, it will show me what I can and cannot say. I'm assuming I cannot obviously video anything that that has stuff with clients. So I can't actually show you the work that I'm doing. I might be able to show you internally in the studio, maybe like my workstation. I don't know what is like propri proprietary information of like what the studio looks like, because I think you can rent out the studio. So anything on the public website, I think it's okay for me to say, as long as um, it's okay for me to publicly say what studio I'm with for this internship. So again, I am going to respect them and do only what they say I can, but I can at least share my personal experience uh, with you guys, regardless of what they, what they say and what kind of information. As a side note, I have no idea. I woke up with this. Um, it is not from any like smooching sessions. I think Cecily scratched me because we oh, we snuggle. So she's up by my head a lot. So she might have scratched me. Um, as I said before, I have very sensitive skin. So it is very possible that I mean, I might have even scratched myself. Anyway, I just I'm noticing it on camera. So I just wanted to say, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's not a hickey. So I don't know. I'm just going to hope it goes away on its own. Um, all right. So this is it for now. I will probably record after. Um, I got up pretty early, uh, obviously, to uh, prepare and everything. So I'm going to do some non-intern stuff. And uh, and then I will, I guess, like follow up um, when I, after I've had that meeting. So it's exciting. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, so that was a short but successful first day. So I basically just did the onboarding and I will actually start working on new projects and stuff uh, tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, so it's, it's really exciting. Uh, so I got to go over, you know, the basics and I'm going to be able to experience pretty much everything. Uh, so they do have two production sessions <laughs> scheduled for this weekend. Um, because there's not much notice, I am allowed to uh, miss them because unfortunately I do have obligations. But I'm going to see um, if I can kind of compromise on that because I would like to go. It's It's good for the first impression type of thing, you know, and I'm, I'm interested. They are actively hoping to hire from their interns. So I certainly want to look available uh, because some of the decision makers will be at the shoot, whereas I might not necessarily see them on a daily basis as an intern. So I definitely want to get my face recognized to get my name out there in the team. So because uh, it's an internal shoot. So that's pretty, really cool. Um, I also got to learn a little bit more. So it is an umbrella. So this is a, a larger organization and they have the, the part that I'm interning in is their film um, studio, but they have other resources and stuff that they do. So that's also really cool too, to know that it is part of a larger 
um, family, you know, and they do a lot of really cool stuff and, and stuff that I actually do have um, professional experience in. So like, ironically, I could get one of those like normal day jobs that I was talking about, but with them on their other side, uh, potentially, you know, just like saying that that is, you know, kind of like their area. So it's there are there is the film element where they actually do, you know, they're, they're really cool. But they also do some other like, you know, more social media management and like that kind of stuff. I don't want to give too much away. Again, I, I did sign um it's just a generic NDA that, you know, confidentiality and uh, don't give away proprietary information. So uh, I believe I am pretty safe in just like generic talking. But in that way, I also want to protect it as much as possible because like that, I don't want to... Um, put anything out there that would upset them, that would then disqualify me from either finishing the internship or becoming a team member, you know, moving on. So um, I am going to still, you know, be honest with my experience. I'm sure there's going to be struggles, especially the commute. Uh, it's not bad on paper, <laughs> but then you're dealing with Atlanta traffic. So I know that that is going to be a headache, but they are so um, warm and accepting. And it's because um, I was going to say it, 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 it's casual. They're laid back in the things that don't matter, you know, like you can wear jeans and, you know, like that, like, hey, you know, T today is a short day because it would just be too difficult to onboard you with this other stuff going on as they are, you know, they're expanding. So it's really exciting. And so they're, you know, obviously the, the important people are doing, you know, important stuff and have deadlines for that. And then not saying interns aren't important, but you know, like we are, you know, we're, we're babies in the industry, uh, you know, in, in, especially in their agency. So, um, we don't take priority in terms of, you know, making sure there's work on our plate. So I did ask, I was like, is there anything you want us to study or anything? And they're like, no, no, it's okay. You know, we will, we'll get you all sorted out tomorrow. So that's going to be really exciting. I get my own uh, business email with the company. So that's cool. Um, and they're actually going to be using Asana, which I've heard of, I've never actually used. So I'm going to give myself homework. I'm just going to try to find, you know, YouTube or like free resources. I'm not going to do a whole like Udemy or, you know, Skillshare kind of course. Maybe I'll find it and see if there's something on LinkedIn I can take uh, just so that I am familiar on a base level, um, I'm really good with other kind of, you know, software management type of platforms. So I don't think I would have any issue with it, but it is always good just to know the, the basics, you know, just so that it doesn't look completely foreign to me when I start. So that'll be exciting. I also did learn that, um, they, the team mostly uses Adobe, uh, like Premiere Pro, which honestly, I was actually kind of surprised to hear just because some of the other studios that I've met and, and worked with in, in other um, areas, you know, so I wasn't a, a crew member, but I did get to see their setup. Uh, they they really liked Mac, and so they really liked, like, Final Cut Pro. I called it something else. <laughs> um, so, uh, but yeah, and actually the, um, the assistant director who is doing our onboarding, she prefers um, Avid, which is is the old school, like, tried and true method that they use to like make movies and stuff. You can obviously use Adobe as well, but like Avid came before Adobe really came on the scene. I think I might, I might have that history a little bit wrong, but I do know Avid was, is well established and has been well established. So, um, I have seen that one as well. It's similar to Premiere. You can do a lot more with it. And uh, so that is intimidating to be like, oh, no, like, you know, like, there's only so much I can do. But I, I know I got it. You know, I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll learn half of it as I go. That's just how you pick things up naturally. But then also, um, I don't I don't mind doing homework, you know, so I'll come home and be like, oh, how do I do that shortcut again? You know, that kind of stuff. So that's just how I am. That's how I learn. And that's how I, I thrive in the environment. So I'm really excited. Um, you know, I was bummed that I didn't get to see it. But 
I kind of, this helps like mentally prepare, but then like, you know, because it is weird that I have been uh, essentially, you know, work from home, self-employed for two years. Um, a hundred percent. That's why, oh, man, I, 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 tri I, I, my, my f fingers bleeding because I accidentally, I had a hangnail and I caught it. Um, so that's gross. Um, so I usually talk with my hands, but I'm trying to hide my hands because that's gross. Um, anyway, so, um, it, it is kind of weird to be like, now I have to like engage with people. Like I always talked with my clients, but the majority of the time it was through emails. I would have client directed sessions, but then it's, you know, we say, Hey, how are you doing? And then we record the script, you know? So, um, it'll be fun. It'll be good to have like a team again. That'll be really fun. That is something I have missed being self-employed because you, you do want to bounce, you know, ideas off. Um, and right now they actually, I'm just going to call them film studio because my other internships are not that. So that way I can keep it distinguished, but I just won't name the studio. So, um, film studio, also has a lot of, especially because we're at the end of the calendar year. So they have a lot of pre-production, like planning stuff for their new, you know, the new year and then post-production of like finishing up some projects. So they do have some production, like actually having to record and stuff, as I said, you know, this weekend is coming up. Um, but those are, I think the last ones that they have for, the calendar year, I am um, with them for 90 days. So my internship goes in through February. So I'm hoping come, you know, mid January, something might come out of pre post, pre post, pre prod. And so that, you know, we can actually film and stuff. But um, yeah, that's this. It's really cool that I also will have the opportunity to sit in and be a part of from, you know, conception to publish. Um, so, so yeah, so I, I really, you know, the internship is exactly as it says, it's an internship and I'll get to learn everything. So even if I don't stay with them, it will really help my career. Um, they do have that clause where like a non-compete for two years and I'm a little bit worried, but based on what they said, you know, in the actual onboarding, that usually isn't an issue as long as everyone is clear and transparent up front. So... I think it would still be okay um, like that if I went from this film studio to another one. Um, I would just like, because kind of, cause they are also, they will have networking opportunities afterwards. So um, they're not like against us growing our career. That's the whole point for the internship. This is just to protect them as a company. So they need to also especially have this clause to protect them should anything happen. So that's more like that, like on, you know, it's, it's not that they're looking to sue people, but it, you have to have that just to protect your, your, you know, agency, uh, which I completely understand and I respect. So I signed it because yeah, you know, I, I want this opportunity. Um, it was also really exciting to hear uh, that like they are actively looking to hire from their interns. So I almost went ahead and wrote and was like, hey, please consider me like from day one, please consider me and put me someplace that you think you might want me. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to wait because I get to um, meet the COO tomorrow. And I think I might meet the CEO on the weekend. I believe he's going to be directing one of these shoots. So yeah. So now it's just that hard decision of like, you know, the sacrifice because I was going to go to a friend's baby shower. Um, and it is two to four 30, but the shoot is, um, call time is at noon and it should go for about four hours. So it's going to completely cut that. And uh, I don't know, like I, I RSVP'd for the baby shower like at least a month in advance and they know and they're like, hey, you know, if you are unable to come to this one, you know, obviously interns are supposed to go to these things to actually experience them, but they understand because they usually give notice and this one didn't have notice. So it's like, I'm not going to get in trouble for not going, but does it look bad to not go? And then I'm wondering, maybe I can go from like, you know, get, get there because call time to help set up and then the cast comes at one. So can I help noon to like two 
and then leave there at two to go to the baby shower. So I'll, you know, I'll show up a little late. That's, that's fine. I just want to see my friend. Um, so I'm going to ask them if that's okay. Um, I can't remember where, like the, cause then, then there's traffic. So it's not magically leave one place and go to the other. I don't know. Uh, so, and then the other one, it is, um, around a, uh, you know, my weekly religious obligation. I go to church every Sunday and the time that I go, it ends like right, you know, it ends like 1145 and my call time is at noon or I think that call time might be at 11. So anyway, so I, I have other times that I can go to my church, but I usually sing with the group better well <laughs> you know like and these are just things that you know as an intern you have to do um again you, you just got to play by their rules if I become an actual you know producer or whatever my position would be I think I would have more of a say to be like can we start at one rather than 11 that kind of thing uh so that I can do what I need to do and then still have you know like there there would be more of that flexibility but being the, you know, an intern, you can't ask people to, you know, move things around. So, um, you know, it's, it is disappointing in that way where it's like, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to start cutting into my other, um, responsibilities and stuff, you know, but at the same time, you know, it, it's, it's one weekend, you know, like they don't have anything else scheduled for the rest of the year. So it's just one, you know, in, in like in a month and a half. So I'm going to do it. I kind of decided while I'm thinking here, I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask if I could leave maybe a little bit early for the Saturday one. I will go ahead and do the Sunday one and go ahead and just go to church at a different time so that I don't have to worry about that because I really do want to put my first, you know, my, my good foot forward. I guess my good foot would be my left foot because my right leg is just ridiculous, which is another thing. They are aware that I really hate that I can't stand for long uh, periods of time. So I'm just going to bring my portable stool. <laughs> it folds up so I can just keep it on me like a purse, but then I can, I can pull it out and I can sit on it. Um, it makes a little bit of a noise, but I'll figure it out. I can sit on the floor too. I'm not like prissy, you know. So that's exciting though. I just, I do want to go. I genuinely want to be a part of it. So that's also it too. It's like, it's not, you know, oh, well, you have to not go to that birthday party because we need you to file these paperwork, you know, and it's going to be like really boring. Like I'm going to enjoy the time because I always love to be on set. So, you know, it's not really a, a bad thing. It's just, I feel guilty that it's like, I promised I would go to this thing and now I kind of can't. Um, but it's not like I'm going to actually get to see the baby. It's just a baby shower. So I don't know. <laughs> Friend, if you see this, I'm sorry. Don't take it personally. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just, uh, these are, these are my people, you know, like I feel already so exciting. Just, just reading the instruct, you know, the instructions, the onboarding, like the agreement and signing the contract or whatever. It's just, it feels like home, you know, so even if I don't fit in with, you know, film studio, I, I just, it, it's reassuring that like, there's no part of me that regret, regret, regrets doing this. It just, it feels right. Um, yeah. And the only thing that would make this better was if I'm getting paid for it, but fingers crossed after three months, I might get paid for it. So that's exciting, right? Like, that'd be cool. Um, I don't care about a non-compete if I can be part of the team. So yeah. Yeah. So first thoughts, um, first day or whatever, like, I, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't really, it was a first day. I made it official, signed all the stuff, but at the same time, like I didn't get to do anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I met one other intern on the onboarding because everyone else got to start in, I think they started in August. Well, some, another group started two weeks ago. They just got their t-shirts and stuff. So they're like ordering. So I get, apparently I get a t-shirt and a sweatshirt, which is good. Cause I am always a cold person. <laughs> like I am always freezing. So having a sweatshirt with their logo on it would be perfect. I just, um, I have to remember to wash it 
a lot because then I also sweat. So it's just gross. So hopefully it's well made because it's going to get washed a lot. <laughs> Be like, you've only been here three months and the logo's already coming off. Yeah, well, you know. C'est la vie. But, um... Yeah, so I think this is it. I don't really have much more. Um, I Oh, I just got another email from um, one of the other internships, the, the gaming one. So I will go read that and start that one. Um, I think that was mostly they are just um, meeting, you know, with each other, with the group to see what my involvement will be. So I'll read that if there's anything worth not worth, but you know, like updating you guys on day one that can't wait for tomorrow. I will record that after that. But I think, um, I think for now, this will do it. So stick around. I will have this uploaded. And I guess you guys will see this Tuesday morning so that I can always have something going. So 